hey guys today's video is this flower editorial makeup don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i always start off with skin prep cleansing moisturizing and priming the face the list of all the products i use will be in the description box below so make sure you check that out so i'm just moisturizing her face here then i'll go on to prime with the tm essentials mattifying primer i'm just applying this all over the areas that i feel as if she'll get oily I love mixing foundation to get the right undertone. Um, sometimes I always make the foundation shade a little darker than the skin. But when I conceal, it will all balance out and everything will just be the right shade overall. Do you guys prefer using a blender or a brush for foundation? I've never used a beauty blender. I don't know, should I try it out? <laughs> I'm using LA Girl in Fun. I like this concealer because it has like a yellow undertone and it's just the right shade for her. I'm applying concealer to the places I want to bring more light to bring forward, make it look more lifted. The most crucial step after product placement is blending. When I'm blending the concealer, I start with the edges or the place I want the least product to show on before I start blending the places I want maximum coverage. So right now I'm just blending under her cheekbones, her chin, then I'll proceed to the forehead before I blend under the eyes and when i'm blending under the eyes i start with the edges first always start with the edges that's the best way to get the best seamless beads i don't have any harsh lines when i blend like this it's always the best way for me when i'm blending the nose highlights i always make sure i use a smaller brush this just helps me control the places i'm blending and it doesn't allow the product to spill to other parts I don't want it to be on. And guys, don't forget, this is the most important. This is the OG advice, you know, take this. Always blend your edges first. That's just the best way to get a seamless beat, in my opinion. Then when you're blending the parts that you want more coverage, do not swipe. Just tap it in. Tap the product in. Tap, tap, tap it. <laughs> I use my concealer brush to blend out any creases on the eyelid, then use this eyeshadow primer before going in with lipstick as the base for this eyeshadow. Setting that lipstick with this pink eyeshadow from Makeup Revolution, I glued the flower petals on her face with lash glue. I baked the areas I put concealer on and now I'm just adding a pink pastel eyeshadow on the lids. I just want to brighten it some more. The other one I used had shimmer in it and I didn't really want that for this look. I'm using this maroon lipstick to cover the edges of the petals and make it look as if it's coming out of her eyes. I'm also going to fan this on the petals as well. This is going to make it look more cohesive and pull together. It's just going to make it look as if it's all one and it's just natural to her eyes. I also used the lipstick to line her eyes. I used two blush products on her cheeks. The first one to contour and the second to add this beautiful pink color. I'm taking the blush down her neck, her collarbones to add definition. I'm adding highlights to her collarbones to just make it pop some more. I filled her brows a little with this pencil and then I'm just using this brow gel to hold everything in place. I'm pressing the baking powder in. After that, I contoured her face and her nose. I'm applying highlighter to the nose, forehead, and cheekbones. I used the shimmery eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners of her eyes. I went in to intensify the face highlights with the same eyeshadow. 
I did the lips off camera. I used the same maroon lipstick I used for the eyes. I decided to add gloss on top of it. This is the finished look guys. Thank you for watching till this part. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can get notified whenever I post any videos. See you in the next video. Bye guys. Love you.